Prince Henry surrounded himself with scholars, map makers, astronomers, as well as navigators, amassing knowledge and intelligence, the 15th century version of R&D. Like a venture capitalist, he financed expeditions intended to push the boundaries of the known world for profit and to spread Christianity. Prince Henry died at Sagres in 1460, but by that time, Portuguese explorers had inched their way south along the coast of Africa as far as Sierra Leone. In 1488, Bartholomew Diaz made it around the Cape of Good Hope. Ten years later, Vasco da Gama reached India. Then, just two years after that, in 1500, Pedro Alvarez Cabral discovered Brazil, and on it went, each explorer armed with knowledge provided by the last. From Brazil to Japan, with everything in between. New technology was key, and this is what it looked like circa 1440. A ship with triangular sails. An ocean-going version of smaller fishing boats, the caravel revolutionized exploration. In a caravel, you weren't restricted to winds that just pushed you along from behind, as square riggers were. And the Portuguese had the best and most up-to-date navigational tools. For example, the mariner's astrolabe, which helped to plot location by measuring the altitude of the sun and stars. Portugal had the equivalent of today's proprietary computer software, accurate maps. Portugal monopolized world commerce, but only as long as it managed to keep its knowledge out of the hands of competitors. Ferdinand Magellan commanded the first expedition that made it around the world. He was Portuguese, sailing for the Spanish. <laughs>